Let's discuss energy band diagram of a solid and conduction band. For a solid, we know well that uh, we can also write that in a solid, all atoms are arranged in a fixed lattice structure. In a solid substance, uh, there is a specified lattice structure in which at fixed intermolecular separation, molecules are arranged or uh, if uh, these are monoatomic molecules, then all atoms are arranged in a fixed lattice structure. In this situation, we can draw the energy band diagram of uh, such a lattice structure in which atoms are arranged at fixed separation. In the similar manner, like in the previous article, we have drawn the energy band structure for two closely spaced atoms. Let's have a look on the energy band diagram for all the atoms which are arranged at a fixed interatomic separation. In this diagram, you can see that if these are the nuclear sites for nuclei N1, N2, N3, N4, and so on. Here you can see. If we draw the energy band diagram of all these nuclei, these uh, energy band diagrams are intersecting at these locations. So, we can say all the orbitals above the overlapping point will get overlap and uh, these will form a common molecular orbital in the whole lattice structure. So, if an electron is present over here above the overlapping zone, it is allowed to move throughout the crystal lattice. And in this situation, we can say that at various positions, the electrons are behaving in a different manner. Those electrons which are below this overlapping zone are moving under the influence of individual nuclei. And those electrons which are above the overlapping zone, you can say above the point of overlapping of these uh, potential energy curves are under the influence of all the nuclei and an electron uh, which is placed over here or if it is available here, it is allowed to move throughout the lattice structure. So, we can say we are having various orbitals which are common for all these atoms in this overlapping zone. So, if an electron which is present over here can move in the whole lattice structure and uh, this zone which is in which all the orbitals are getting overlap, we call conduction band. This is called conduction band because uh, those electrons which are in this zone are free to move in the whole lattice if a potential difference is applied across the lattice here. If uh, a high potential and a low potential is applied, electrons will uh, start flowing from uh, low potential to high potential zone. So, this is the region in which these electrons are called free electrons and these contribute an electric current which flows through a substance. If a substance is not having any electron in this conduction band, then that substance can be considered as an insulator. And those electrons which are below this overlapping zone like this electron, these are called bound electrons. So, this we can term as a free electron. And uh, this electron we can term as bound electron. So, we can also write that uh, all electrons in the overlapping region of orbitals in lattice structure. are free to move in whole lattice and these are called free electrons. And those which are below the region of overlapping orbitals are only under the influence of individual nuclei. So, these electrons are called bound electrons.